وان نخنا زيها ايه كويس Hey, what is up, guys? This is Sarix Lee here. How are you doing, guys? Hope you're doing well. Today, I will share with you my experience with the Rising, and is it worth it or no? So, in the first place, what do you need to know about the Rising? It is a survival horror MMORPG game. The game is designed for walking around in the moon because if you're playing when the sun is rising, you will be a vampire cabal. So you can play it with your friends or play it alone. But if you want to play it with your friends, you must choose who you play with. <laughs> so that you do not end up like we did with Lace. I should have played. I should have Tony. Anyway, in this video, I will tell you my honest opinion about the game from the new player experiment to the end game experiment. So let's head to it. So you start the game in your coffin. Then you start killing some skeletons and farm bones and wood from trees to build up some weapons and armor for yourself. Then you farm again to build your castle. Then you will make some machines in your castle that will help you to create a new weapons and new armor and so on. There are some machines that will ask you for some disgusting resources and sometimes you have to fight a big boss to build this machine. If you are playing alone, it will be difficult to focus on all these things at once. Even if you're playing with your friends, sometimes you will die from the big boss or the sun. There is also a system that will help you if you are playing alone or even with a team, the servant system is that you go to any strong person who prefers to have a pure blood type or in another word 100% of blood type and capture him and use it. In fact, my friends and I did not pay any attention to this system but if you want to know more details about it, I will leave a video in the description if you want to know another details about it. So that's it for me, I hope you liked the video or let us have some, don't forget to like and subscribe, have fun, bye.